Welcome. This series of videos will help you learn the basics of constructing a multi-level game using Scratch. In this game, the town wizard has lost its hats, and uh, your job is to help the purple knight find them before it's too late. We'll click the start button to begin, and the arrow keys will help move the knight through the mazes. Let's check it out. bounces off the color green. Now this is not a complete game, this is simply a sample, so the mazes are very easy. Simply designed to test out the code. Every time it touches green, it goes back to its original starting point. He's got a timer. Let's get him to the last goal here. And he wins at 24 seconds. Okay, coming up next are the beginning steps of how you can build a game similar to this one. Have fun. All right, now that you have a good idea of what this project is all about, we can get started. Our first task is to work with the stage. So I'm going to move over to the left here and click on Stage, and then head up to the tabs at the top here and select Backdrops. I want to rename this first backdrop Start. And I'm going to click on this paint bucket here Make sure it's a solid color. You do have some gradient choices down here. Click on the color I'd like and then click on the backdrop and I now have a yellow backdrop for start. Next I want to paint a new backdrop for level one. So I'm going to come over here to the paint a new backdrop icon, the little paintbrush here, and rename my new backdrop level two. No, we'll do level one and use my paint bucket again to give it a color. We'll paint this one green. I'll repeat the process one more time, paint a new backdrop, rename this one level two, and we'll paint this one purple. Click on the backdrop, and my fourth level is going to come from the backdrop library, which is located right here. And my story has a castle theme, so I'm going to use castle number four here as my finished screen. So I'm going to click OK and rename that last screen Finish. Okay, so I now have a yellow backdrop called Start, a green backdrop called Level 1, a purple backdrop called Level 2, and my finished backdrop, which is the castle. All right, now that we have four backdrops, it's time to write some scripts to control those backdrops during our game. So I'll move up to the top here and click on the Scripts tab. Now, we're going to have seven different workspaces by the time we're done with this game. We'll have a stage and six different sprites. Uh, and then we'll get confusing about which workspace you're in. It might be helpful to point at your workspace and right-click and add a comment and name the space you're working in. So I'm just going to call this stage, click this triangle and shrink it, and I'm just going to park it right in the corner here so that it's easy to see that I am working on stage scripts. Now we're going to go up to events here and grab a one flag click, click block here. Now the green flag is going to be our housekeeper and what I mean by that is when you click the green flag, it's going to put everything in place for the game. So every time you see a green flag block, you know it's a housekeeping uh, script that will put something where it needs to be at the beginning of the game. Okay, and at the beginning of the game, we want to head over to looks here and have the backdrop switch, of course, not to the finish, but to the start. And here you can see the importance of carefully naming each of your backdrops. Okay, so when the flag is clicked, we want the backdrop to switch to start. Now, just for fun, let's go over to sound, and we're going to grab a sound block here too. And we're going to grab this one here called play sound pop until done. And the until done part is good for longer sounds, so it actually plays the entire sound before it goes to the next block. So let's test that out right now. I'm going to 
click over here on the backdrops real quick and let's go to the purple one. Now let's click the flag and it should take me to the yellow one and play pop. And it does. So our first script works. Let's go back to scripts and add some more. Okay, next we want to go to level one. So we're going to look for a block here called when I receive here in the events section. And it says message one. We need to write that message. So you click on this drop down menu here and click on new message. And we're going to call it go to level one. And click OK. So now what do we want to happen when the message go to level one is received? Well, we want to go to looks and we want to switch the backdrop to level one. Now be careful, sometimes your view of these blocks hides part of this particular block. We do not want to use the and wait block. We want it to be just switch. So we'll drag that over here and throw that away. So be careful of that. We'll switch to level one. And this time we're going to grab a different sound here. Let's see what we've got here. We'll play a sound. We have pop. We won't be able to record anything, but let's go over here to sounds real quick and head to the sound library. And I am looking for the bell toll right there. You click on the sound that you like, and of course you can test them all out here. Find yourself a sound quickly, choose it, and click OK. And when you do that, that adds it to your stage as a sound that's available for stage scripts. And you'll notice that if you were to go to a sprite, those sounds wouldn't be there. Each of these sounds goes with the sprite or with the stage. So let's go back to scripts now. And when I switch to level one, I want the bell to play. Okay, now I won't be able to test this one right now because we haven't written the script that actually sends the message about going to level one, so we just have to trust that it works. I'm now going to repeat this process uh, for level two. So I go to events, when I receive a new message, go to level two. Click OK. When I go to level two, I want the looks to change. I want to switch the backdrop to level two. And I'm going to play my sound again. Oops, I picked the wrong block back there. We want to play until done because the bell rings for a while. Too much of a hurry there. So let's drag that off to the side. Play until done. So you hear the whole toll of that bell there. That's what we want to hear. Hey, and there's the classroom bell. One more script for stages here. Events. When I receive, and this time we have to write a message that says go to finish. Looks. Switch backdrop to finish. Sound play the bell until done. So each time we change the level, we're going to hear the bell ring. He's on a time limit. He's in a hurry. We'll talk more about the night here in a little bit. All right, so that's, uh, that's stage scripts right there. You're all set.